Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net, and welcome to another blog, video update show, whatever we're calling this thing. Uh, we've got some new things going on. The show is evolving, and it's changing slightly. First of all, we're going to start talking about the subjects of the video blog in the beginning. That way you can decide whether or not you want to watch. And, uh, you know, if I were you, I probably wouldn't watch. Um, the other cool thing is we're now being presented in full standard definition, which uh, if anyone's really keeping track, it's actually a little bit less than standard definition. We thought we'd upgrade that. Um, but bottom line is we're going to try to structure the uh, format a little bit better and focus on small subjects rather than rambling on like in the last episode. Uh, you know, not trying to be rambly, maybe a little scrambly, but uh, not rambly. We don't want any of that. We talked about doing a video co-pilot show, and we also talked about doing a video blog. But instead of doing both of those, we're actually going to combine it here and sort of take the best of both worlds, kind of keep it light, keep it, uh, you know, raw, and at the same time try to cover more subjects and ideas so the topics we're going to be covering today are a fighting enhancement tutorial tip. And uh, we talked about this in the past, but we're just going to put it right here in today's video co-pilot show. We're also going to be taking a look at the upcoming bar graph tutorial and uh, see what the benefits are of that technique. And a very exciting inside look at optical flares. We're going to open up the plugin and see exactly how it works. Now, you can see I've got my uh, Boy Scout shirt on today. It's got the... Uh, buttons, these little uh, things here, basically means I'm a general. I bet you there's some Boy Scouts out there, some Weeblos. Um, I was in Boy Scouts, matter of fact. Um, I was no Eagle Scout, but got a few merit badges, got like a, uh, easy, I'll cut that out, probably won't. Uh, I've got like an archery merit badge, and I've got, uh, you know, I killed a bear once with my bare hands, as a matter of fact, um, which is kind of funny if you think about it, because, uh, that bear was probably thinking, you know, I'm going to choke this guy out, and uh, I killed him with my bare hands. But he was thinking the same thing. He was thinking, I'm going to kill this guy with my bare hands, but he meant it in a different sense, I imagine. He was thinking, you know, he's really got bare hands, like claws and hair and stuff. He, he didn't mean it in the way I meant it. Besides, have you ever seen a bear holding, like, a gun or a knife? I mean, if you have, I would, uh, you know, check my medication. Well, if you're fighting a bear already, well, you know, what's there to check? Anyway, um, wait, weren't we going to not be rambling on? Crap. You guys can just fast forward through it. Now, let's jump into the uh, first part of this and take a look at the fighting enhancement tip and uh, see what that's all about. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Now, let's say we've just filmed a three-minute fight sequence. It's choreographed. It's one long, continuous take. But unfortunately, there's one punch that for whatever reason is just too far away from the actor's face and it kind of ruins the entire take. But instead of reshooting it, we're gonna use a quick technique of cloning and extending an arm. So here is the before shot and here is the after shot. So what we've done is we've extended the arm, we've added a little bit of shadow and just tried to make the shot look a little bit more realistic. We've also added a head um, nod so that it looks like he's getting uh, punched. Now obviously if we play it back, you can't uh, see the shift, but it just looks like the punch connects a little bit better. Now I'll go ahead and play it back at half speed. And uh, so it looks pretty cool. So here we are in the uh, original footage comp, and what you need to do is go forward to the point where the punch takes place, and we just have to paint that one frame. So we'll double click on the footage, Take the clone stamp tool, and we're going to zoom in here. Now we want to make sure the duration is set to a single frame, and we can play around with the diameter. You can also hold down control and drag left and right to scale it. And what we need to do is sample this part of the arm and paint over this area. But before we do the arm, let's take the whole head and move it back just a little bit. So I'll alt-click on his eyebrow here, and then move over just a little bit and then just begin painting. And what this does is basically offsets all of the pixels just a little bit. And so if I turn the effect on and off, 
you can see the head just shifts back um, ever so slightly and that'll really help kind of make it seem like he's got jarred by this punch now we'll alt click on the elbow and we'll just move it forward a little bit and begin painting it until it looks closer to his face Now we want to fill it in pretty good so just alt click and paint and uh, obviously if the shot doesn't have as much motion blur it'll be easier to see what you're doing we also want to take the paint tool we'll make a, a dark colored brush you can hold down alt and sample the shadow color make sure the opacity is set down low and maybe for the shirt we'll use a dark blue and we just want to start painting in the color of uh, the shot we can also scale the brush down and add a little bit more shadow where the uh, punch uh, makes contact. So here's just where you want to be, um, you know, take some time and paint it. You can also sample this uh, shadow skin color and add a little bit of a shadow, maybe even uh, down his shirt here as well, so that it really looks like there is contact being made here. We don't want it to look like a beard, but I think you uh, get the idea. So we turn this on and off you can see that basically looks like that punch is extending a little bit better and you can get pretty fancy maybe uh, with a light color tone here and maybe make a really small brush and you can sort of draw uh, crevices um, as if the skin were getting um, bent and kind of smushed or whatever you can also use like the liquify filter um, but that's up to you. Just a matter of making it look like he uh, really got punched hard. So that is uh, the main idea. I've also used a basic particle system to kind of make a little bit of spraying, you know, um, saliva or uh, you know, perspiration or something like that. So that's a cool little uh, thing I added. And uh, if you really want to get fancy, you could maybe um, create a particle system with some spare change and so when he gets punched you know spare change kind of goes flying everywhere I think that would really be uh, the way to sell this particular effect okay so this is a pretty cool technique now you want to be careful how you use it don't uh, extend limbs too far unless you're working on a movie called inspector gadget just to uh, use it sparingly